Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you may be located. We're very excited to have you a part of our growing team. We know that you're excited today because you will be unboxing your brand new SLUV wall printer. First step, the crate is gonna be large and heavy, but you can open it using the backside of the hammer. Slowly stand the crate into a vertical position so that you can easily remove your wall printer. Remove the two small zip ties located on the wire carrier. Move the electronic cables and couplers and slowly raise the foldable rail into position. There are two sliding brackets with four Allen screws each. Loosen the four Allen screws, slide the bracket into place, and make sure that you have evenly placed two Allen screws above where the foldable rail meets and two Allen screws below. Slowly turn the two Allen screws located on the wire carrier brace so that the metal locking system is vertically seated. Place the wire carrier brace on the vertical rail. Make sure the top of your belt is properly seated on the sprocket. Check that the lower sprocket is correctly seated as well. Remove these two Allen screws located at the bottom of the belt just a few inches above the lower sprocket. You will see a small rectangular metal bar. Place this bar on top of the lower rectangular metal bar. Make sure that they are aligned properly and replace these same two Allen key screws. To avoid warpage, do not tighten each Allen screw to its entirety. Instead, partially tighten the first Allen screw on the left then move to the screw on the right and go back and forth a few times between each Allen screw until both screws have been fully secured. Inside this box, you will find RIP software, which is the software used to convert an image into a readable format by the wall printer. This box also contains your print head and a set of Allen keys. Be sure to handle the print head with care. Please remove these four Allen screws located on the brace of the print head. Align and place the print head to the printer's chassis by feeding these four Allen keys through the left side of the printer's brace. The lower left Allen screw is a little tricky to place, so be sure to use one of the longer Allen key tools that we have provided so that you can properly secure the lower left Allen screw. Feed these cables and couplers through the brace of the print head. You will now have these three cables on the print head side of the printer. There will be a cable with two green couplers and then two other electrical cables that we are now going to install into the print head. Carefully slide the print head forward to allow more space to install these cables. Install these cables as shown. Your SLUV wheel printer has two motorized wheels and two wheels that move freely. When moving your printer, lean it on the wheels located on the print head side to avoid causing issues to the other two motorized wheels. Your power cable is located in between the rails and the printer. The printer's power button is located here. Then turn the printer's computer on by tapping this power button located on the front of the printer. Your red laser crosshair will automatically turn on. When printing, make sure that you have unplugged these ink caps to allow airflow. Sufficiently fill each ink cartridge.
Once you have properly filled all six colors, replace all ink caps. Now it's time to do our pump spray and test functions. These functions are important to complete before every wall print. Refer to the manual for a full explanation of each of these functions. The pump function is used to bleed the lines. Properly secure the pump box. This function is important to remove all air from the ink lines. Place something underneath the pump box before you remove it as ink will fall. Now, we're going to clean the printhead by using a lint-free cloth and carefully dab the excess ink off of the printhead. The primary function of spraying is to remove the ink color mixing caused by the process of drawing ink. In this function, you want to see distinct colors of all inks. Next, the test button. With this function, color blocks will be printed vertically on a piece of paper. You ultimately want to have six solid color blocks. Lastly, the clean function. After doing your test function, if the color blocks are not mostly solid and have large white spaces, you must start the clean process. If the blocks are solid after the test function, the preparation of the printhead is complete and the clean process is not necessary. You are now ready to wall print. This box contains your RIP software license key. Insert the license key into the USB ports located on the right side of the printer. Next, insert the flash drive that contains your desired image for the wall print. Refer to our other, more in-depth video on how to upload and convert an image into a readable format by the wall printer. If the version says Pro, you have correctly inserted your RIP software license key. Tap New, then tap OK. Then tap this third icon from the left to locate your USB flash drive with the desired image for your wall print. You can tap the preview button located on the right to verify you have selected the correct image. Then tap open and select your designated height or width for your wall print. Tap this printer icon and then tap print to file. Be sure to select this drop down panel so that you can easily save your new PRN file to the desktop. Name your file and click save. The PRN file conversion process has begun. Please contact support at thewallprinter.com for any questions that you may have. Happy wall printing!